So this is what your power stretchers are going to look like whenever you open up the boxes. You're going to have your tubes in one box, your headpiece, tailpiece, and your adjustable pole. As a certified master installer, I get asked all the time how to use a power stretcher. In this video, I'm going to break it down in three easy steps. Step one is going to be the power stretcher assembly. Okay, we're going to take our regular pole now, squeeze these buttons in, and push that down inside of the other pole. Once we get that done, let's slide it, and then you can feel the buttons here with this hand and pull it all the way out to the very last hole right here. Same thing with our tailpiece. We want to take and squeeze these buttons in here on the side and slide it in to the first hole right there. So squeeze it, and give it a little wiggle. The exact same thing on your adjustable pole. Pull it on out until we get the first or second click. We're going to push the buttons in and slide it directly in there and place it in the very first hole on the power stretcher. Now that we got all of these hooked up, we're going to simply grab our, butt, grab our uh, speed ratchet pole, pull straight back on it until the tailpiece touches the wall back there. You can hear that ratcheting now, okay? Right there we go. So now we have our lever about halfway up and stretched all the way across the room. Step number two, how to actually use the power stretchers. Here we go. You're going to want to listen close to this. This is what's going to make your carpet last a really long time right here if you get a nice power stretch on it, okay? So you might be wondering how much do I stretch? How hard do I stretch? Industry standards is that you get one to one and a half percent of the length of your room. So this room here, for instance, is 14 feet long. One percent of that is going to be approximately one and a half inches, 1.4 inches. So we're going to shoot for an inch and a half, and that's going to have plenty of stretch. Well, the next question, how do I know that I stretched it that much? I'm going to show you a little trick. If you've not used the power stretchers before, how you can be assured that you get the proper amount of stretch on your carpet. Okay, so I'm just going to fold the carpet back and right where it reaches, right where it touches the baseboard, I'm just going to take and put me a mark on it. This is just going to be something that after I stretch, I can measure to that mark and see if it comes back here enough. And measuring from the mark, I want to have approximately an inch and a half. That's going to let me know that I stretched an inch and a half on this length. So we are a little over two inches away from the baseboard, and that's actually good. That's about what we want right there. Simply pushing straight down on that is not going to get our proper stretch what we marked on the baseboard right there. So in order to get more of a stretch, I have to bring my handle up further, okay? So to do that, I got to raise the teeth up out of the carpet so it can move back, okay? So that now gives me about a one inch gap from where it was originally. Now I'm going to be about three inches, okay? I'm going to just get it where it feels good, push down. Okay, now see, that feels nice and tight, but I'm actually going to do just a little bit more. So I'm going to get one more bite, pick up and raise back, because every, every time I pick up and push back, my headpiece will actually move back just a little bit. So see that? And then it comes up and back again right there, okay? So three times that moved, and now we're going to see we have more than enough stretch on this carpet. Let's take a look and see how much we actually stretched right there. So from the base board to my mark, which was flush down to the floor, we have over two inches of stretch in a 14 foot room. So that is more than enough, okay? Is this your first time installing carpet or have you done it multiple times? Leave a comment and let me know where you're at on your carpet journey. Since I have the stretch, I have to get it secured on these tacks that are completely around the perimeter of the room, okay? Okay, now I'm going to take my hands and I want to secure this. I want to push the carpet down so I can feel those tacks pushing through the carpet and filling them with my fingers. Now, since I have pressure on the tack strip, I'm going to reach over with my foot and just ever so slightly raise up on that handle right there. 
while I have pressure down on the tax, okay? I want to mark this again right here. You don't have to go just like side for side like that. You, you don't have to go uh, right here's my piece and then straight over here. You can actually leave a little distance there. You can get by with three or four inches like that. And we're going to do the same process again. If this video is helping you out, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. You can see how far away I am now, okay? I'm over four inches away. I'm almost five inches away from the wall. What's gonna happen whenever I stretch with it that far away? See how the carpet just tries to wrinkle up in front of that, okay? If I hook this on the strip and raise up, see that the carpet just pulls right back out of the way and i don't actually have a stretch on it okay that's why it's crucial to make sure your head piece of the stretcher is at least two or three inches away here okay step number three is where to start stretching from and where to end up stretching from okay we, we always want to start stretching crossways first tie just a little bit off turn our stretchers around stretch the length of the room and then come back and finish up crossways so if you'll remember this crossways lengthways crossways that's going to be the steps in order to get a proper stretch if you want more detail on that i'll leave a card right up here in the corner on how to power stretch a room properly so that you can get the best professional results out of these power stretchers